Hey CCA, we hope you had a wonderful break. I'm Gabby. And I'm Katie. And this is CCA TV. Okay. <laughs> The lockdown and social media threats to our campus was definitely a major wake-up call for the ways that social media can negatively affect our lives, but it can also be used for positive purposes. Today we have an update with Mr. Mueller and a way that you can prevent similar situations from happening in the future. My brother actually goes to Torrey Pines, so he was in the lockdown for four hours and we were like in a family group chat and then when he got out of the lockdown, we like went into the lockdown. And when I saw the look on my teacher's face, I saw that it like actually was a serious thing and I got like kind of scared at first because I didn't know what was happening. It was like the first time I'd ever experienced like a real lockdown. Social media in general has really changed the way um, teenagers communicate with one another. I think as a school media program, we know that social media and the media in general can have a positive or negative influence on others, and we saw that in this threat to our campus. And so our student staff thought that it would be a really good idea to come up with a positive way to remind teenagers, students, and really our whole community that it's really important to think before you post. What you put online does matter and it will last for a lifetime. There is cyber permanence. Um, your digital footprint will follow you. We really want students to think before you post, and that's why we've started this campaign as a school TV station. Hey, think before you post. Think before you post. Think, think before, before you post. post. Think before you post. Think before you post. Think before you post. Think before you post. Think Think before you post. Think before you post. Think before you post. Think before you post. Help CCA TV promote the positive message of social media posting. Use our image, Think Before You Post, and the hashtag Think Before You Post on all social media sites. We'd love to see as many people as possible on Instagram and Facebook using the hashtag Think Before You Post. Before fall break, the Canyon Crest Academy Foundation funded the Legacy Mural, which you can see above the Proscenium Theater. Let's go to the art segment for an explanation of the process. <laughs> celebrate the unveiling of the Legacy Wall Mural, uh, which was created by the EVA Conservatory students, um, and it was this beautiful mosaic of ravens coming, uh, like flying by the sun, and so I co-wrote a musical with Emily Laliotis last year, and we performed a concert version of it at the event, which was really fun because we got to get a bunch of musicians and actors back together uh, to thank the foundation and those donors for supporting Envision and supporting the programs that let us do this my favorite part was performing with my friends and uh, getting to reunite the group and because we performed it this summer at the San Diego Fringe Festival. So it was really fun getting back together and doing it on the stage in front of the beautiful mural lit up. is the Envision Festival of the Arts. It's a time um, where all of the different art classes, day classes and conservatory show off their work. So we have dance, we have theater, the humanities group is presenting, we have music, we have visual art, we have uh, cinema, everything happens all in this quad on December 6th. It's a really great afternoon. There'll be food trucks, the nest is open, there's music in the nest. It's a really vibrant time to celebrate all of the arts here at Canyon Crest. I love 
being able to see what's going on around campus. I love to see what's going on in the visual art world. I love to see all of the stuff in cinema, and dance, and theater, and humanities, all in one spot. All the music, everybody working together, looking around, and enjoying all of the things that are in Vision Arts. It's pretty phenomenal. We discover films and bring them into a community where that otherwise they would never be able to see. I learned a lot about how important it is to have a good narrative. It really helps to create a good story and keep your audience captivated. I love the artists and I love the people that they bring out. I love the audiences and, and the way that they react to the films, you know, whether they're crying or laughing. The fact that they came out um, and are enjoying or, you know, consuming these movies. My film was called Confessions of a Cosplay. I like a lot about this film festival. Um, and with it being the San Diego Asian Film Festival, um, there's a lot of stuff that's like centered around that culture and I think it's really, really cool. With it being a 10 day long thing, there's a lot to choose from. There is change that's happening. The film is a story about a street ball game they've been playing in the Chinatowns in North America since the 1930s. We have um, basically follow a season long in the sport of Nine Man and also um, look at the history of the game through the film. Hey, uh, did you see that crazy food fight last week? No, there's food fights at CCA. Only over the great prices at the Nest. These are some quality pretzels. Dude, you can get muffins for the same price as pretzels at the Nest, but instead you got pretzels when muffins are so much better. On Monday, our boys basketball team beat West Hills 62 to 60 with a buzzer beater. Way to start the season strong, Ravens. Recently, our girls golf team made CIFs for the first time in Raven history. Let's hear from two of their players. I played really well at CIF. I placed seventh out of 108 girls in CF San Diego, and then I placed 20th out of 140 in regionals. So I played pretty well. CIF was a really big deal for us this year since it was the first time we qualified as a team. Girls soccer just lost their first game to SDA 2-0. to zero. That's weird because they never lose. Yeah, we never lose. Let's check out this footage on the boys soccer tryout. I think that tryouts really give us a, a good opportunity to assess not only the um, skills of players here at the school, but also the, the work rate. You want to show the coaches uh, what you got, and um, you really want to show them your breaking point. It's a beautiful game to watch, and there's a reason why it's worth coming out for. Girls Volleyball made it to CIF Finals this year, but ended up losing to Tory Pines. We were really excited. We really wanted to play Tory for a third time, so we are really excited we got the chance. Our team prepared really hard for it, and it sucks that we didn't get it at the end. Our coaches wanted it so bad, but we're really happy to be here. That's it for sports this week, CCA. Stay proud. It's cuddle season, CCA. And if you have no one to cuddle with, come to the dance show called Love. I'm excited for this year's dance collaboration, Love. Uh, like most things CCA, um, it's, it's going to be exciting to see how the different levels of the dance program here at Canyon Crest are going to collaborate. There are five student pieces that auditioned and were accepted, so I'm excited to see those. Um, it's always nice to give the students a voice as choreographers. There's some super silliness. Uh, there's one piece that's completely silly with puppets and the whole nine yards. And then there's other more serious pieces that kind of tug at your heart. I'm doing a hip hop piece, um, kind of new for CCA, it's the most contemporary. So it's a very well-rounded show, it's super entertaining. I'm excited, come in out and see love. Remember to use the hashtag, think before you post. Stay love, CCA.
Is this guy pestering you? Yeah, yeah he is. Looks like I moved that pest aside. And now, Senior Quotes by Seniors. Everything you read on the internet is true. Hannah Montana says nobody's perfect, but then there's Hector. I'm so much cooler online. <laughs>